Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 here and I'm back with another tech video. Um, in this tech video I'm going to be demoing uh, Cyanogen Mod 10, uh, the first nightly. Um, if you can't, if you didn't know already, I did root my Nexus S. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you about phone. Since 4.1.1 is most likely going to be the last update for the Nexus S, I decided to go ahead and root it to get the ability to get some custom ROMs. Um, there's my kernel version. I'm using Thalamus kernel right now. Um, I will have the links in the description uh, to get Cyanogen Mod 10. This is for the Crespo, uh, aka Nexus S, uh, GSM variant. Uh, this will work with the um, GSM Nexus S, i9020T, i9023, and I believe the i9020A as well. Um, so you're going to go ahead and visit the website. Um, link I have in the description whether you want to do it on your uh, Nexus S or from your browser um, on your laptop is or computer is fine um, you're gonna go ahead and hit the download link and it's just gonna begin the download <clears throat> now to do this you need to be rooted and have super user permissions I believe um, I'm rooted so and I have super user permission so right here it's just downloading Signage and mod uh, announced earlier this evening, which it is Friday, August 17th, 837. They took to their Google Plus page and announced that uh, the nightlies will begin for um, a few different models. I believe the Galaxy S2, Galaxy S3, Nexus S, Nexus S 4G, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Nexus LTE. Um, those are a handful of devices. Uh, the Galaxy S, the original version. Um, which I was surprised to see because of the old hardware, but those are the devices that are supported um, There might be a few I forgot and if your device isn't mentioned on their uh, Google Plus or Twitter um, feed um, Don't be alarmed. Those are just the devices that they initially announced CM10 for So as you can see it's taken a little while to download. I'll go ahead and fast forward this part All right, and it's just about done, and it has just finished. Um, that took a total of maybe about three minutes or so from start to finish. Um, so now that we have it complete, uh, it's going to be in the downloads folder, so that's fine. Usually they suggest putting it in the root directory of the SD card, but I usually just leave it in the downloads folder because uh, it, it, it's fine for me. Um, so what we're going to do now is open up a ROM manager or whatever... Uh, ROM manager like app you have installed to get into um, recovery mode uh, here we go you're gonna um, reboot into recovery and um, just to show you I have my current ROM backed up uh, that is what you would want to do if you um, in case this bricks your device something goes wrong uh, you have a backup and I'm also being your guinea pig here because this is probably a very uh, early alpha or maybe just an alpha um, so we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery and I don't think this comes with any of the um, any of the G apps so things like Google uh, Play will probably be missing and um, I believe maps might be missing uh, calendar things like that um, so I believe we do have to wipe uh, wipe the uh, Dalvik cache and everything. Sorry if this. I'm going to use my search button for uh, this because you're going to go ahead and hit yes. I'm going to use my search button instead um, because my power button is kind of messed up. It's done this in the past before. Um, so now that we've put, uh, wiped all the data, um, we will wipe the cache partition. I believe we have to do this, but we'll go ahead and see. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, so we have wipe data factory reset and wipe cache partition. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, install the zip from SD card. Um, uh, you're going to go ahead and hit choose. And you might have it in the root directory. I have it in download. Um, if it's going to let me access the... Uh, yes, it will. It's all the way down here. 
So wherever, if you download from your phone, it'll be in the download. Um, and if you downloaded it and put it over to the root of the USD card, it's not going to be all the way in the bottom. So here it is CM10 2012-08-18 nightly for the Crespo dot zip. And I'll hit search and yes, install CM10 nightly. And it's going to go ahead and um, install this. And I will fast forward through this part. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm walking back over to my room. Um, I was closer to a Wi-Fi connection over in the other room, so please excuse the walking. Um, so it has uh, installed from the SD card. It says it's complete. And let me go ahead and set this right up here. Okay, so as I mentioned, it uh, installed it from the SD card. Sorry about the moving. I had to move from my uh, living room over to uh, my room for you know lighting purposes and just easier to record. Um, so it says uh, it was installing, found the package, and installed from SD card, and everything was complete. So now uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is go back, and you're going to reboot system now. Um, if my power button will work, there we go. And I just rebooted my system now. Um, uh, so this is um, CM10 Nightly on the Nexus S. And here is, uh, I believe his name is Sid, their new logo or icon for CM10. So here it is, Cyanage and Mod. It says 9 down here. Um, the .zip file says 10, though. I don't know if this is, they're just using the old boot logo. They will probably change this as uh, Nightly's Continue. And here we are, it's just uh, frozen. Okay, there we go, it's starting back up. So um, please feel free to share this video um, with your friends or anybody else you know who is interested in doing this but not sure if it will brick their device or you know what will happen. Um, I went ahead and uh, rooted my Nexus S. I never thought I would, but here I am rooting it. 4.1.1 is probably the last uh, upgrade they'll get, major upgrade, and so I decided to just uh, root it. And so I found I I've used Cyanogen Mod. I have a um, a Motorola droid with the original one with CyanogenMod. mod i have a, uh, a motorola click with CyanogenMod. mod i have a motorola click xt with all CyanogenMod mod 7 so i decided i'll try it out on my nexus s even though it's a uh, nightly and it's the first nightly so there probably will be a lot of bugs um so this i guess i'll just show you a first boot and maybe a, play around with it a little bit um and then i will do uh reviews if you guys want uh, as more nightlies come out and i can do a review of the first nightly if you guys would like So it's taken a while, but it just dimmed, which is usually a sign that it's just about done. Okay, so here we go. Um, here is the nightly, the first nightly of Cyanogen Mod 10. Um, first blush, just scrolling around, it seems to be pretty responsive. Um, as I said, there are no G apps, so nothing um, is installed, and I wasn't able to find any G apps on uh, online anywhere, so. I won't really have much to work with here. Um, so let's go into settings. We have launcher, lock screen theme, system, uh, advanced, profiles, uh, performance. Those are the things I noticed right off the bat. NFC is on by default. Um, let's go into the about phone. You have status and uh, signage mod statistics. View the change log. It's got Android version, kernel version. It changed the kernel to signage and mod kernel. Um, it shows the CPU, memory, uh, signage mod version, build date, and build number. Um, so this is just a quick uh, run through and kind of walk down about uh, or, or 
walkthrough, I guess you could say, um, with Cyan Engine Mod 10. Um, I will be uh, getting back to you on different features if I find any. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the camera because that's usually one of the things that doesn't work. Um, so, oh, it says touch to focus, which is nice if I can get it to. Uh, it's not rotating. Sorry that this video is kind of just all over the place. Um, my first time with the ROM on here, so. Uh, okay, so this is turned on, and the camera isn't rotating. That might be something that isn't in this build. Um, so no camera rotation, apparently. It will switch. Hey, there I am. Um, says it, ha it said it had touch to focus, but uh, let's say I bring down my little Android guy. If I touch to focus, it seems, yeah, it will. It'll uh, touch to focus. So if I have a, let's say, a memory stick adapter piece thing for something. Um, sorry, I'm trying to fit this in here so you can see. Um, it will take the picture and it will have it focused. Um, doesn't look that great to be honest, um, but it apparently does have touch to focus, which is nice. This is a feature that, that I've been uh, wanting for a while. Um, so it'll have touch to focus. Um, uh, no rotation uh, uh, yet for the camera. Um, let me see if my, I don't think it wiped my pictures. Uh, ooh, in the gallery, it shows that it, it has wiped a bunch of pictures from my camera. Um, that's okay, though. I made a backup. And I don't have anything synced, so other pictures don't appear there. Um, so this was just a quick look at the um, at the first nightly build on the Nexus S. I know it's a little uh, all over the place, as I mentioned, but you know I wanted to get this to you guys as fast as I could. Um, so if you have any questions or comments about um, Sign Engine Mod, or you want to see um, anything that I didn't show in here, you want to see a review or um, maybe small features that you heard about or wasn't able to actually test, um, go ahead and uh, hit me up in the comments um, and I will be sure to make a video. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.